Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel giving you a little throwback look from when I used to do my videos over here for the long time. Prime timers just trying to make sure I keep things fresh, keep people on their toes. You never know what you're going to expect when you come here to watch one of these videos. And tonight I am going to throw out the first ever Primetime Challenge. That's right, I'm issuing a challenge, I'm throwing down the gauntlet, and I want to see how many people will respond to it and post down below when they have accomplished it. And here's the challenge. What I want to see is I want to see you take some item that you, or group of items that you have had sitting around that you know you want to get up, you know you want to post them, but for whatever reason, due to the size of it, maybe it's a big collection of things, like a big stack of magazines, or maybe it's a big pile of clothes that you're having a hard time just thinking of even getting through and processing and sorting and figuring out what to put up, or maybe it's some kind of vintage toy that you have that's all dirty and filthy and it really needs to be cleaned up to make it sellable. I want you to take one of those items and I want to motivate you to post it. I don't really do a lot about in terms of motivational, inspirational uh, videos that are like purposely designed to be like that. Although of course I hope that people feel motivated from, from watching things on this channel. But this one I specifically want to have designed to motivate you. And, and here's how I'm going to try to do that. I uh, want to kind of piggyback on something that happened uh, yesterday in the video that I made in which I specifically took some extra time to devote to a, a project that I knew would take longer than the average type of item that I'm going to put up. And this was a big lot of 169 Playbill magazines, okay, they're programs. They're right here. They literally fill this box from top to bottom. And you could see them right here if you didn't see the video yesterday, although I'd encourage you to go back to it to see how I sorted them and listed it and everything like that. But just as a brief refresher, these are these little uh, programs that they would hand out to you before you went into the, uh, you know, as you go into the theater to watch the play. A lot of them are from Broadway, New York City. Some are off Broadway. And, you know, they really vary. Some are really vintage from 1971. Some are more modern from 2008. Some are, you know, have the opening night sticker on them. Some don't. Some uh, real popular titles like uh, Macbeth and The Producers and Phantom of the Opera. You know, some are just more kind of, um, you know, regular run-of-the-mill kind of, um, uh, you know, kind of plays. There's other ones that have the, the, the tickets inside or inserts inside. There's some that don't. So it was a whole big lot. Bottom line, it required a lot of time to just go through it and process it. So, you know, all the things that I had to do were I had to count them all up. And I had to count them twice because I wanted to make sure I had an exact count. I had to put them into little stacks of 10 so that I could take some good pictures and selectively put the best looking titles up front that would really, really grab the attention of the, uh, of the customer. I had to uh, make sure I knew which one was the oldest and which one was the newest so I could give people who are looking at these kind of an idea of what the range of, uh, of the age of the books are. Um, you know, obviously I had to take the photographs, had to list it, um, had to provide some other information about some like highlight books and take some pictures, you know, ones that were really cool that had some of the tickets inside of it, uh, take pictures of some of the inserts, all those sorts of things that requires extra time and effort. But that extra time and effort is so worth it and so sells the item so fast in many instances. So I put these up last night. Now, just to remind you, I sourced these for, my wife actually found them, Mrs. Primetime, found them for $10 when we went to an estate sale together. So sometimes we divide and conquer the house. And so she was in another area. She found these. Um, and actually, Little Miss Primetime found a second batch of them. So that's my daughter. So put them together as a real team effort and bought them all for 10 bucks, okay? Um, put them up last night for $199 just this morning. So we put them up like 10 o'clock at night, just this morning at literally like eight o'clock, 
got an offer for $169. So the person was basically offering a dollar a book and we do free shipping on everything. And this doesn't cost a lot to ship because it's media mail. So even though it's heavy, it won't cost much. Um, so I just counter offered in the middle at 185, pretty much, pretty much in the middle, 185 because I had them up at 199.99, uh, and the person accepted it really fast. And so that quickly we turned a $10 investment into a $185 sale. Uh, and you know, that's just a great, great, great way to start the day. You know, that started it off at like eight o'clock. The person accepted like 8.15 after the counter offer was made. Um, uh, now I am convinced that that would not have happened if I just took these, these books, just scattered them all over the place, took a bunch of haphazard pictures and just threw it online and said, approximately 100 to 150 vintage Playbill magazines. No way that would have sold, sold or very, very unlikely that would have happened. By putting some extra time into it, taking the time to process it, putting in some details. Now, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to try to take a picture of every item. Go to the video that I did yesterday. In fact, I'll link it at the end of this video so it's very easy to access. And go see what I did to just process this item, to strategically lay it out and just um, you know get it posted so that it would sell fast. So anyway, that's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to think about doing. And I want you to try to meet that challenge. Find some type of item, again, like I said in the beginning, that you have laying around that's similar to this. You know, it could be like a big, another big stack of magazines. Like over here, for example, I have this giant stack of uh, older wrestling magazines that I have to, that I have to you know, put, put out. Or over here, this is a really cool one that I'm gonna do. These are old Newsweek magazines from, ninth, from the 1940s, okay? Now that's gonna take some time for me to process, lay out, kind of describe it. Um, this is kind of an example of what I'm talking about. These are all magazines, but again, there's other types of things. It, again, it could be piles of clothes. It could be like an old vintage toy. You know, for example, like I said, that's all kind of, you know, you know just dirty and dusty, needs to be clean. It could be an automotive part. Um, you know what it is that you're into that you have laying around. It's that item or group of items that you know what it is. You have it there. You walk by it almost every day and you, sometimes you even kind of don't look at it because you don't want to think. You kind of feel guilty that you haven't gotten to it yet. Haven't put it up. Go grab that sometime this week or sometime this month. Make it a priority that you work on a little bit each day if you don't have the time to devote an entire, you know, several hours to it. Work on it a little bit each day and slowly start getting that um, um, posted. And then sell it. And then what I want you to do is I want you to write a comment down below and let me know that you sold that item and you met the prime time challenge. I want to see how many people can meet that. I want to know how much you sold it for. I want to know what the item was. Um, and you know, we all learn from that type of stuff. So when we see what you sold, like you see that I sold these playbills. So if you come across a lot of playbills, then you're going to know to purchase that and you're going to be able to make a good flip. And you know, same thing for me. If I see some of the things that you guys are doing, I learn from you and um, uh, that's, that, that's helpful for all of us. So we're all kind of just, you know, kind of giving knowledge back and forth and sharing it with one another. That's why that comment section is so important. So make sure you drop some comments down below below uh, or questions or hopefully people meeting the challenge. Uh, in addition to that, if you like this video and you felt that it was motivating, let me know that as well. I like to try to motivate people and you know get people um, you know to be productive and to you know accomplish things that maybe they wouldn't have, uh, have thought of trying to get done. So that would be uh, that would be good to know as well. Uh, in addition, if you want other tips and other be on the lookout items and sources of inspiration, you don't have to do anything more than just go down to the description section and click on the link. It's a, my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. We are less than 50 people away from hitting 1,000 members. So get in on that and be one of the first thousand. It doesn't cost you anything. You will literally make money being part of the group, okay? Uh, it's just, uh, just a great, great group of resellers and just a great, great source of information. Uh, lastly, make sure if you like this channel, if you like the videos that are getting churned out, if you're getting motivated from watching this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button at the end of this video, a little 
treasure chest pops up up top make sure you hit that that will subscribe you to the channel trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year hoping we could do that right now we're at about 567 or so so got to get to 600 before we get to a thousand so help me get there and I will see you at the next video take care everybody